very bold. New tonight, a bizarre crime caught on camera. Would-be thieves leaving empty-handed after trying to steal this ATM from a bank. Fort Myers police say it happened early this morning at the Bank of America branch on Matthew Drive. Four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco live in the newsroom right now with more on what seems to be a trend in Southwest Florida. It's a weird one, Steph. Well, Patrick, police say there hasn't been a spike in these types of crimes, but I've been digging to see how many attempts have been successful. What I found may surprise you. It seems too bizarre to believe. People are crazy. Three guys pulled up to this bank ATM in Fort Myers using one end of a chain to hook on this blue truck while the other end was wrapped around this machine, hoping to drag it away with them without leaving fingerprints or pieces of their disguise behind. They're just stupid people that do stupid things. These guys didn't get anywhere after several attempts. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, you know, a lot of money in there. But this isn't the first ATM theft attempt in Lee County. Back in May, it only took these two men five minutes to uninstall and haul this ATM machine out of a Fort Myers hotel filled with cash. How could you steal an ATM machine? In 2010, a group of three thieves broke into the Lee County tax collector's office and walked away with an ATM machine full of cash through the front door. And all these places have cameras, so they're sooner, like hit and run, sooner or later they're going to get them. While these thefts or attempts don't happen often in Southwest Florida, these three are still unsolved. That's very bold. I asked Janice Caruthers, a criminal defense attorney, what it would take to put these thieves behind bars. Whether it's a picture, whether it's fingerprints, something to prove that this person is the one who was there at the scene at the time, that's, a, that's legally sufficient for them to make an arrest and to build a case against.